friends, welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. Today I am so excited to share with you all of my spring decor and get the house decorated for spring. So I'll get all my surfaces cleaned off and all of my decor out. And if you're excited to join me for that, and if you're ready for a little spring decorating inspiration, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and we'll get started. I'm starting by just going in my little cleaning closet. I finally got it all organized and I'm pulling out the Mrs. Myers all purpose spray in the geranium scent. And I just think it smells so good and it's just very spring like to me. It smells like flowers. And so I'm just gonna get all my surfaces cleaned off in the kitchen so that I can put out my decor. Now I do like to clean and I do like to organize and declutter, but I would say decorating is one of my favorite things to do because I just find it very relaxing and I love to just change the space every few months and just make it feel completely different. And I love decorating with the seasons and I have been that way for my entire life. But here I have some cinnamon rolls. The kids had been asking me for a while for some cinnamon rolls and I hadn't gotten a chance to bake any so I went ahead and bought some. Sometimes I'll bake something for them and then other times I just go buy it. It just depends on how crazy the week was. But I feel like whenever I buy them it always looks a lot prettier in the cake stand so I definitely need to work on my baking skills. While I'm getting my kitchen all cleaned, I'll go ahead and introduce myself for those of you who are new. My name is Jenny and I live with my husband Tony and our three kids here in southern Louisiana. My channel began as a way for me to kind of share my belief that cleaning is a form of therapy and can be a great tool in managing mental health, especially anxiety and depression. So on my channel I share weekly cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating, inspiration, and I just invite my viewers to join me in creating a clean and calm space for themselves and their families. I really do think that cleaning can be a form of therapy and I also think that watching cleaning videos can be very relaxing and therapeutic as well. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and I hope it's relaxing for you. And as far as this year goes, I am on a mission to declutter and organize and deep clean my home within a year. So we are calling this the Clean Your Way to Calm Challenge and we're just going through our house month by month and doing little deep cleaning chores as well as organizing and decluttering. And then every season, we just get a break from all that to decorate. So if you're interested in joining that challenge, you can check my description box and there's a link that says, join the Clean Your Way to Calm Challenge. And I will send you a free printable cleaning checklist that will take you through the whole year and you can join in anytime. You're never gonna be behind and we can clean our way to calm together. And I also have an Instagram account at underscore cleaning therapy where you can follow along there as well. And I give updates about the channel as well as the challenge. So thank you so much for visiting my channel today. And I'd love it if you'd introduce yourself in the comments so I can get to know you a little better. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting my channel. You know, I always love to be with you and make sure you say hi in the comments. I don't know how this got so bad, but there's so much soap skunk on this tray. It looks like it leaked out or something. I'm really not sure, but it just took me forever to get all of it off and to keep rinsing and rinsing and it. it felt like it would never rinse clear, but all the soap that ended up in my sink from that, I ended up using to clean my sink. So, and I did suspect that maybe one of my bottles of soaps was leaking. And so I was checking this on the front and the back. This is the little bubble up dish. And I was checking it for cracks to see if it was leaking through because that's how much soap had leaked out. But I didn't see any cracks, so I'm not sure what happened. But like I said, it at least made a lot of soap for me to clean my sink. Now that the tray is all clean, I'll go ahead and restock it with my spring soaps. So again, I went with the Mrs. Myers and the geranium scent this year and I love the way it smells. Up above my sink here, I'm just taking down the homemade sign and replacing it with this flower bar sign. I got this at Kirkland's last year on clearance and I really like it and I wanted to use it again this year. 
And I decided to go very neutral this year with just greens and whites. There was just something in me that was craving simplicity and I wanted neutral decor this year. But I can already tell that I'm dreaming about summer already and thinking about all the blues that I could add to this to make it pop for summer. So I definitely love color, but I just really wanted the whites and greens this spring. It also helped that I had lots of white decor from last year and I tend to use neutral decor in my home so it just made for a really easy way to decorate with things that I mostly already had around the house but I did pick up a few new items this year including this hanging basket and I really just like the way it all came out and as far as this video goes I will try to link everything I can in my description box um, where I got things or if there's a link to Amazon that I can give you I'll be sure to include it in there but please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments if you have any questions about anything I'd be happy to answer playing around with this tiered tray decor. It always takes me forever to style this because I'll put everything out and it just takes me forever to figure out where it all needs to be. And it's always probably takes longer than styling anything else in my house. So I'm just gonna work with this for a couple of minutes. And I got these cute little bunnies at Hobby Lobby. I think they were in the table decorating section, but they were very inexpensive and really cute. So I was trying to incorporate those into the tear tray and I think I was able to make one of them fit. So I really like the way it came out with all the greens and whites. And I love that there's different shades of green and I just think it brings a whole lot of variety. I wasn't able to make that little plant work cause it was way too big. So I kind of created my own little plant with a little stainless steel bucket that we keep the candy canes in um, during Christmas. And then I just put a little bit of like Ivy inside just to kind of mimic a plant. <laughs> so I really like the way it came out. It's very simple and it's kind of country. And now that I've got everything where I want it, I'm just gonna add this filler. And I always get my filler at Hobby Lobby and I just get like little sprigs of this or that and just break them up as I need to. Here's the tear tray all decorated. I love the pops of green and all the different shades. And I love just how simple it is. The greens and whites are so simple, but I just think they are so pretty. And I think now that I've spent so much time decluttering my home that I just didn't want to clutter it right back up with an overkill of decor. So I'm really keeping it simple this year and just decorating certain little areas of my home. And I'm loving the way it's all coming out. Here on the cutting board, I'm taking off the pitcher and the cream and sugar, and I'm actually gonna use those somewhere else. And I have this cute little candle stand from TJ Maxx, as well as this little succulent from Kirkland. And I even found a home for this little bunny right here. And I think it's super cute and super simple. And then over here in my little accent cabinet, I'll put the pitcher, and then I got another one of those hanging baskets from Hobby Lobby, because I tried to kind of do similar themes throughout the house so that it all really goes together and it's very cohesive. So I'm kind of mimicking what I did in the kitchen window. And then this cute little cottontail carrot patch sign is from TJ Maxx. Found a little spot for that plant that wouldn't fit on the tiered tray stand. So now my kitchen is complete. And again, it's so simple, but I really love that it's not gonna be a lot to maintain and it's not over cluttered and I still have plenty of counter space. So I really like the way it came out. Ooh. 
Moving right along into the dining room, I'm showing you a wreath that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and I was so excited because these wreaths were only about $12. So they were 50% off, and they just happened to not be really expensive to start with. And I really liked it because it's so like light and airy, and it's just, it's not, it's kind of a sparse wreath, and I just think that that's so nice for spring. And then I'm adding this Just Pray sign from Hobby Lobby as well to balance out my candlesticks. And here's a little shot of the finished fireplace. I absolutely love it. I think it's so fresh and bright for spring and I love all the light coming through and hitting all of these pretty greens and whites. So I'm very happy with it. And I know because these pieces are so neutral that they're gonna be wonderful staple pieces moving into the future. And I'm going in with the Everspring glass cleaner to tackle this mirror right here. And then as I clean off the furniture in the dining room, I just wanna say that it was so nice to be able to just relax and listen to music and clean. Normally I've got all the kids running around and you know there's management going on and I have to change baby's diapers. And I love all that, I love being a mom. I don't mind the chaos at all. But when I'm cleaning, it's really not a big deal because everybody kind of does their own thing while I try to clean. And if the baby's following me around, it's really not a big deal. But when I'm decorating, I really do like to have a little bit of space. And so it was such a joy to be able to have a calm and quiet house while my mom was watching the kids and I was able to just decorate and have fun and really be at peace and not even be interrupted. So it was really wonderful. So I was very grateful grateful to her for that chance to just focus on what I'm doing and enjoy it. To fill the watering can, I just wanted to pick up a few kind of random flowers. My goal was to kind of make it look like wildflowers or maybe just flowers that you picked from your backyard. I didn't want them to look too contrived or perfect. So I just picked up a couple different little stems from Hobby Lobby and I just wanted it to look like one of the kids went and picked flowers and put them in the watering can. So I like how that turned out. I ended up finding this little basket at TJ Maxx for only $5 and I put some artificial Easter eggs in there that I had gotten a few years ago at Hobby Lobby. Here on these little side shelves, I like to put just little small knickknacks and I found these cute little basket woven squares at Hobby Lobby for just, I think like $1.50. Again, they were in the table decorating section and these little mini ice cream bowls I thought were cute and simple. And I really just kind of do it pretty much the same on both sides, um, but just kind of mirror imaged. And so I just kind of repeated it on the other side. Moving into the family room, I'm starting by replacing my pillow covers and I picked these up off of Amazon. They're very affordable. I always like to get pillow covers off of Amazon because it's just a very inexpensive way to change up the decor season to season. And I had these gray flannel pillows that I just thought were very fall and winter. And so I went ahead and took those heavier pillow covers off to put these lighter white pillows. And I really liked the way it lightened up the space for spring. And over here in the corner, I just have this taupe colored throw and then a little pillow that's an accent pillow that says stay a while from Kirkland's. And again, just very neutral and I really think I could use that pillow year round. And I'm going to go ahead and get this coffee table all cleaned off so that I can decorate my basket. I'm gonna use this book right here as a prop for my candle because it's a neutral gray color. And I don't know if any of you guys read Jan Karen, but it's a Mitford book and I love that series. And here this candle is orange blossom and sea salt and it's from Target and I just think it's so pretty and it smells amazing. Here 
here by the TV, I always do the same exact thing because there's really not much I can do over here with this huge TV right here. And it's kind of a decorating eyesore, but I usually just put a nice little garland right there and you know some greenery like around Christmas time and in the spring I was able to find this greenery that matched the wreaths that I bought and again for such a good price $20 for this garland is a really good deal and that's from Hobby Lobby and it just kind of hides the wires down there but it's not big enough to block the signal or anything like that so over here on this little table I'm just getting it all cleaned off and then I've got this cute little bunny stand it's it's from a few years ago but it's so cute and then I have a nice little plant for there and then another candle from Target this one is I think a peach scent but it's kind of a peach color and I think it's a peach scent as well The table is always last to get done because I always put all my decor out on the table. So now that I've got it all cleared off, I'll go ahead and clean it and I'm keeping it very simple again and just putting a picture of the hydrangeas. And then as soon as I finish in here, I'm gonna head out to my front porch and clean up the porch a bit and put out my wreath. I'm just doing kind of a light cleaning out here on the porch today, nothing crazy because I am going to be doing my outdoor deep cleaning when I get to that point on my checklist. So right now I just wanted to kind of get everything wiped down, get the dust and dirt off and get it swept off so that it'll be ready for spring. And then I'll try to do that each season before I put my wreath out, I'll give my porch a little refresh. It was so beautiful out there that day. I just remember it feeling just like spring. It was so pretty and it felt really good to be out there. And I was actually supposed to film this video days before and something came up to where I wasn't able to film it. But that day it was very overcast and the temperatures had dropped and it was winter basically. So I am so glad that I was derailed from filming because I really am glad that I was able to film the spring clean and decorate on a really pretty spring day. Just made it feel a little more like spring was actually here and that I wasn't jumping the gun. So I really enjoyed myself today coming out here and getting this porch all refreshed and then I figured I'd go back inside and get my house swept as well because whenever I decorate I always make a huge mess and the floor is always get really really dirty and as I finish sweeping I just wanted to remind you guys to head into my description box to see any of the items that I have for my decor this year I'll have them linked if I can or I'll put the store where I got them from in case you haven't done your shopping yet and you plan on spring decorating hopefully it'll be a good resource for you also make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss future videos we're gonna be doing so much more deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating throughout the whole year. And if you want to do that with me, go ahead and click the link that says join the Clean Your Way to Calm Challenge. You'll get your own free checklist so we can clean our way to calm together. Next time you're on Instagram, come find me at underscore cleaning therapy. I'd love to be friends with you over there as well. Thank you so much for being with me today. I appreciate you more than you know. I am so grateful to get to know each and every one of you. This outlet is amazing for me. It is so fun for me and I enjoy every minute of it. So thank you for coming along this journey with me and I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye guys.